Hey folks, uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you real quickly how to remove the hard drive on the CIC infotainment system on an E90 BMW. I suspect it's similar uh, in all cars with CICs, although I'm not sure that that's true at all. Um, and it's a really simple process. We start by prying back the trim around the blower vents. We'll remove our AC controls just by pulling it out. We'll pull back this trim and then there's two Torx bits. To do this, I will use a trim removal tool um, that just helps me get in and uh, pull the trim back a little bit and a T9 Torx bit. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do again is gonna pop my trim removal tool in and just start to pull back on these blower vents. Um, you can see they pop out pretty easily. I don't actually need them out. I just need them up enough that I can start to pull on this piece to get this first clip on the AC controls. And once we get that out, we actually don't even have to disconnect it. I'm just gonna set it up in my little nook here, um, in which case I can start to just pull back on the trim for uh, the radio surround itself. Those feel like beefier clips. They're actually um, just little metal balls that stick in there in, in four places. Set that aside, and we can actually see our hard drive here uh, with the two Torx bits. Again, this is a T9 Torx bit. And we undo these. You can see that there is some tape that's also holding this in, the, the label here and the tape there. Um, I was able to just pull that straight out with it. So we undo these screws. That's one. And this is two. And then we can just pry out our hard drive um, it does connect in just by slotting into this hole. Um, so you want to see if you can pull it out relatively straight. Uh, maybe it is a good idea to pull the tape out, but it can also get caught because it's kind of in a track, but just pull it straight out nice and slowly. And there we have our hard drive with the connecting pin right there. Um, so then you can take this and hook it in and clone it and hopefully uh, repair it and keep your system from doing the boot loop cycle like mine was. All right. Thanks for watching.